Issey Miyake Lo Dese Pour Home. This fragrance was released in 1994, and that was the same year my mother decided to release me from her. Is this fragrance considered outdated? Should you still be buying this? I'm gonna answer all those questions in this full review. This fragrance was made in France in 1994, and it was perfumed by Jacques Cavalier. In case you didn't know, Issey Miyake himself is a Japanese clothing designer that unfortunately passed away a couple years ago, so RIP to him. First, let's go over the presentation. Unfortunately, I wanted to save a couple bucks. I bought this as a tester. So it came in this box. This box is very unpleasant to the eye. If you want to buy the tester, you at least know what to expect. Issey Miyake, then it's Lo Dissé Pour Home. This is Eau de Toilette Concentration. And as you can see, tester. Now let's look at the bottle. There is literally no indication on here of this being a tester, not even on the bottom. On the front, it just says Lo Dissé Pour Home by Issey Miyake. The cap is like literally Abraham Lincoln's hat. It looks a little ridiculous. The cap is huge if you compare it to the bottle. This is the 125 milliliter bottle. Unnecessarily big, in my opinion. I wish I could say the same about, uh, anyways. And this yellowish light frosted glass. It looks pretty cool and very representative of the fragrance. On the bottom of the bottle, you just get a little bit of the information there, including the batch code. And mine is 225859. So what does Lo Dice Pour Home smell like? Let's get into the notes. And just like a lot of 90s fragrances, unnecessary notes here, but let's do it as quick as humanly possible. Yuzu, lemon, bergamot, lemon verbena, mandarin orange, cypress, calone, coriander, tarragon, and sage. Middle notes of blue lotus, nutmeg, lily of the valley, bourbon, geranium, saffron, ceylon, cinnamon, Migorn net and base notes of Tahitian vetiver, musk, cedar, sandalwood, tobacco, and amber. But what am I smelling? Let's spray it on the inside of my elbow crack Two massive sprays. By the way, the atomizer on here is actually very very nice Yeah, the scent profile is super nice and refreshing immediately You're getting that prominent yuzu note which in fact kind of ties to the roots of this fragrance Japan yuzu is a fruit from Japan So it's kind of giving you a reminder of its roots It's a citrusy opening that's also being reinforced by kind of that calone note Which you would kind of know from something like aqua di jo. It has that sea breeze smell which is kind of like a synthetic melon or watermelon I'm getting a little bit of the vetiver the musk cedar clean tobacco there's just too many notes to say if you really actually do smell those or not. Oh my goodness, it's getting rapidly darker. This fragrance is very, very good for the high heat in the summer. This can be used as a casual fragrance for leisure situations, whenever you just want something to refresh you on a nice warm summer day. When you're having lunch at the beach on like a patio or something, this is where this is really nice. I also think that besides the summer, this is also good for the spring with some of those earthier notes. It's kind of synthetic. I think it's age versatile, but it being from the 90s, it's gonna have that outdated vibe that people say. I don't think it's outdated, but I think it's age versatile, let's say past your 25 plus crowd. If you're my age or younger, definitely test this before buying it because you may consider this a little outdated where I may not. Lo Dice Pour Home is actually a lot louder than I thought. You don't need too many sprays of this. That brings me on to the performance. Immediately off of like one spray, you're getting like a two plus foot projection. Then it's gonna kind of settle down a little bit. This is a fragrance that a lot of people are going to go nose blind to because of some of the notes in here. If you're spraying this on your skin and you're thinking, oh, I'm not smelling it, you're going anosmic because trust me, it's a lot louder than you think. In the two to four hour range, it kind of calms down a bit. You're getting about a one foot plus projection for kind of the remainder of its life. And then after about five hours, it becomes a skin scent and then it's gone in the six to seven hour range. Go a little bit lighter on the sprays to test this out because I was really surprised with how loud this fragrance actually is. This is a fragrance that if you wear it in the high heat, it's gonna perform even better. Let's get into the price. So for the 125 milliliter tester bottle, I bought this on Fragrance Buy for $59.59 Canadian, but I think you can get like the non-tester bottle for like 70 bucks. Should you wear Lo Dice Pour Home by Issey Miyake in 2023? I think absolutely. In my opinion, this is as timeless as Aqua Dijo. I wish this got more credit like Aqua Dijo because in my opinion, this is actually a little bit better and it stood the test of time better than the original Aqua Dijo. This fragrance is definitely not for everyone. And the reason being, is because that citrusy yuzu top note can be a little bit overbearing for some people. I know a lot of people that have sprayed this on and loved it, but there is those crowds that I've tested this with that do not like this. Guys, I'm gonna give Lo Dice for Home a 7.9 out of 10 almost into the amazing category. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts of Lo Dice Pour Home is. Have you tried this fragrance? Do you like it? What don't you like about it? And if you love fragrances, I know you're gonna love this video right here. So make sure you check that out. Please spray that like button and subscribe if you like fragrance content and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching and I love you all.